Hey, this is Nick and Nikolai from Kometa Camera, and we've got a Black Friday deal for you. Well, deals. Deals, <laughs> yes. We have multiple <laughs> items here. Uh, these are all Sigma lenses, mm -hmm. and they are all on sale from November 21st all the way through the 29th. So you've got a little bit more time than your usual Black Friday sale. A little bit before Black Friday, a little yeah. bit after yeah, Black yeah, Friday. Yeah, it's great. You have more time to save money. Um, now, all these Sigma lenses are available for Canon and Nikon mounts. So if you have a Canon or Nikon DSLR, you can use them on that. But... Or if you have a Sony, like a full-frame Sony E-mount camera, you can get an adapter, the MC11, and that allows you to use a Sony mount Sigma lens on your Sony camera. Well, we'll get back to that a little bit later. Okay. So let's first of all talk about the smallest lens in this group. It is the Sigma 17 to 50 millimeter 2.8. So it's basically like the kit lens that comes with the cameras. Yes, except a significant upgrade because it is a 2.8 aperture, which is really, it's desirable to have because it's much faster and you get much better background blur. So it's a solid 2.8, meaning you can use it through the entire zoom range. Exactly, it won't, the uh, aperture won't change even if you're all the way zoomed in. Awesome. And it's also optically stabilized, so you have image stabilization in addition. And it has a hypersonic motor, which is really nice to have because it has fast pinpoint accurate autofocus. Great. It's a great upgrade and it is available now for $369 down from $399. So $30 off for a great lens like this. This is a big upgrade if you want to you know, upgrade your kit lens. All right, let's move on to the next one. Alrighty. Next up, we've got basically the pro's workhorse, the 70 to 200 2.8. Yeah, any wedding photographer, sports photographer, professional is gonna have a 70 to 200 in their kit somewhere. Absolutely, and now this is also optically stabilized, has an HSM motor, and uh, you know, basically, you're going to be using this a whole lot of the time. It's great for portraits. It's great for short telephoto work. Mm -hmm. And um, at the price it's at right now, let's see. You got a 70 to 200. It is normally $1,149. It is down to $1,099. And that is much less than what you would be spending on an equivalent yes. Nikon or Canon version, which they're can usually, get pretty pricey. They usually almost double that price. Yeah. And you're not really sacrificing any image quality because mm -hmm. these are made by Sigma. Sigma is been in the lens game for decades and decades, and recently they've really been stepping up their game. Yeah, especially with their art lenses. Yeah, so this is a great lens, and it is really not that expensive, and you will use this constantly. Now, if you didn't think the lenses could get any bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually, it's pretty hefty, but these are even more hefty. I'll grab the big guy here. I just don't want to break anything while I'm putting things over. Okay, this is a 150 to 600 millimeter Contemporary in Con your hand. Oh yes, I've got the contemporary and you have the sports version. Okay, these are both image stabilized, so you get image stabilization and at those telephoto lengths, that's really important. Yes, this is something that a professional sports photographer will be using for birding, things like that. Yeah, it's great for nature especially. You don't want to get too close to your subjects because they may run away or fly away. Or fly away. Bird, yeah. <laughs> um, and this is a great thing to have. Now, the differences between these two, because Image-wise, as far as sharpness goes, the quality of the image, quality of background blur, mm -hmm. it's all going to be about the same. Um, there's been lots of independent tests showing yes. that they're basically optically the same lens. The differences are basically in the construction. Now, the Contemporary is a very nice lens, very solid, very well made, but the Sports, you know, is a step above. Yeah, it's a little heavier because it's using higher grade materials. It's also weather sealed. So if it starts raining out at a sporting event or something like that, you don't have to pack up your gear and hide it. You can still continue shooting with this one. With the Contemporary, you might not want to do that. Yeah, but still, if you're using it in a, you know, a non, uh, inclement weather condition, yes. I know how to say that, um, this is still a great lens. Yeah, absolutely. And the sports is just, it's made for more uh, rugged professional use. Yeah, if you're shooting like in a studio or, you know, an indoor setting, you're doing mm -hmm. like modeling and stuff like that, weddings, you're not going to really be in the elements too much indoors, so that would be the lens to go for. If okay. You, if you're outdoors a lot more, this is probably the one you're going to want to go for. Yeah, even the lens hood is... That's made out of solid metal. That thing is huge <laughs> and very solidly built. Anyway, as far as pricing goes, the Contemporary is obviously the less expensive lens. Starts at $989, and for the sale, it's going to be down to $939, so that's a great price on a very long telephoto zoom. Awesome. The Sports, normally $1999, and is $200 off now, so that's $1799. So you're getting a very rugged, very good long telephoto zoom. Um, for $200 off, and that's, you know, if you compared that versus... Like a Canon or a Nikon. Canon, Nikon, and I don't even know, do they have 
uh, things in that range? I'm actually not too sure. I know well, they if they like did, it would be a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Sigma is, of course, a great alternative. Yes. All right, so moving on. Put these bad boys down. We've got a couple of prime lenses. Now, we've got a 35 millimeter here and a 50 millimeter. Both of them are 1.4, uh, have an aperture of 1.4, and that 50. is just crazy fast. Yes. And uh, that really gives you great bokeh. And, and low you light can, performance. Of course, you can use it in low light situations. Now, the thing about these two primes, the sale only applies if you buy this for a Sony camera. You have to get the adapter if you want to get the rebate. All right, you should also note that it only works with Canon lenses. Right, so you have to get the Canon version of this lens, and you have to get the adapter for a Sony E-mount. But once you do, you get $200 off, and um, it's basically giving you the adapter for almost free. It's only 50 bucks. Yes. So together, the adapter plus the 35 millimeter, you can use that on your uh, Sony A7, for example, that's going to cost $949. And with the 50 millimeter, that's gonna be $999. Now, that sounds expensive, mm. but these are really, really great, very fast, very sharp prime lenses. And as you know, primes are just, they're wonderful yeah. to have. The, reason, the main thing with prime lenses is that they're made for one specific focal length. So all the technology and all the construction they do is for that one length. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna get better bokeh, you're gonna get better image quality, sharpness, it's just an overall better experience than a zoom lens. Yeah, zoom lenses are basically for convenience, but when you really want to get you know, the top-notch image quality, you go with one of these, and at f1.4, you can shoot in almost any situation. Especially with an a7s. <laughs> if you paired it with an a7s, you can shoot in near darkness, and you're still going to get some usable images out of that. Yes, you will. <laughs> okay, so we've got this whole line of lenses, and they are all available cheaper than usual, from November 21st up into November 29th. And let's see if I can uh, grab all these so we can have a nice closing shot. I've got all the Sigmas. Oh. And you can get them all right now at Cometa.com.